Hello beautiful soul, I'm back with your angel guidance for this week that is just beginning. Yes, I know, I look different, I changed my hair, but I'm the same. I'm here to connect you with your angels for this week, to bring you their love, their guidance, and their protection also, the support, the divine connection that they bring to us in such a beautiful way. And for this week, we're gonna receive guidance uh, from the Healing with the Angels Oracle cards. This is by the Ring Virtual as usual. And we have 44 cards in this deck. This was the first deck I've ever used when I started doing readings and I love do, using this deck for any kind of guidance because I feel a very deep connection with it. So we're receiving guidance for the week of the 24th through the 30th of September 2018. Yes, we are in September already. The year is coming to an end. This week is full of energy, it's full of balancing energy because we just had the shift between seasons during the weekend. So there is a lot of energy to bring balance into every area of our lives. Balancing the yin and yang, balancing the dark and the light, balancing the female, the feminine and the masculine energy that we carry within us. Literally balancing in everything, in every area of our lives. So there is a lot of energy, a lot of harmony, and beautiful connection with our path, with our truth. So let's begin with our guidance. The cards are here as usual. I ask you to close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and just connect with the angels. Let's start inviting them. Let's begin to receive their love, their guidance, their light, asking them to surround us, to protect us, to touch the scars, to speak through me, to give you the right guidance for the week. And the card is already here for Monday and Tuesday. Let's see, wonderful, oh, insert prayer. This is such a beautiful card. This is a way that the angels are using now to tell you, my dear, that yes, your prayers are, are being answered, are being heard. Please don't feel like you've been abandoned. Don't feel like other people are progressing and you're not. Understand that they are taking care of everything for you. They are listening. They are doing everything that is needed right now to bring people, to bring situations, to bring opportunities to your life so you will get to where you want. You will receive the blessing you're asking for. So this card is just to let you know, my dear, that they are with you. They are by your side. Don't give up. Don't feel discouraged. Don't feel upset. Don't feel like you're left behind because you are not. They love you so much. They, they have the whole team of angels, the whole team of spirit beings, of loving beings around you to guide you, to protect you, to take you where you need to be, to, to help you with the blessings you need right now, to help you with everything you're asking for. They just want you to have patience. They want you to breathe. They want you to be with you, to be in alignment with divine love, in trust, mainly trust when we pray we need to trust we are delivering our requests to the divine to the angels so they can do what we're asking for but we need to trust if you pray already knowing already telling yourself that your prayer is impossible to be uh, coming to life to be actually happening you are saying to the angels no don't do it i don't trust i don't believe this is possible I want it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So you're already blocking yourself from receiving these blessings. So understand, my dear, when you pray, they are listening. There is not one single prayer in this entire planet that is not being heard, that they are not helping, they're not doing anything, they're, they don't ignore. It can be a prayer for just finding a nice chocolate that you like in promotion, or a prayer as, as healing, as changing things in your life. There is no measurement. They don't have any kind of judgment. Every single prayer is heard. Every single prayer is taken into consideration as much as the others. There is nothing uh, more important than the other. The chocolate is not, as impor is not less important than the healing. 
it's all prayers, it's all coming from our hearts. And they listen and they help and they do everything that is possible to be done. As long as you trust, as long as you are believing that this is going to happen. So trust, my dear. Close your eyes right now. Take a deep breath in. Just tell yourself that you trust. That you trust your angels. And that you know that they are with you and that they are doing what, uh, whatever is needed to bring your prayer to life. Okay, my dear, such a beautiful message for the beginning of the week. Let's move on now for Wednesday and Thursday. And let's see what they bring us. It's here already. So Wednesday and Thursday, that's beautiful. Forgiveness. This is a topic that I love talking about and I can actually stay here with you talking about forgiveness forever. <laughs> forgiveness is such a transformational energy. It has such a deeper power within us, within our growth, within uh, our alignment with divine love. My dear, remember, I told this before in some videos, I always talk about forgiveness. When you forgive, you are not doing it for the other person. The other person doesn't even need to know you are forgiving them. You do it for yourself. You choose yourself. You tell yourself from now on, I choose my happiness, I choose my heart, I choose my life. So choose today, choose during this week to let go, to forgive people, to forgive situations, my dear. In the end of the day, it is your life. You're responsible for your own happiness. Don't give the power and the control of your happiness to other people's hands. Forgive, let go. This is a healing that needs to happen within your heart. It doesn't mean you're weak. It actually makes you strong. It means you're so strong because it's not easy to forgive. And when we manage to forgive, when we manage to let go, when we manage to move on with our lives without carrying this burden, without carrying the heaviness of other people's problems, then we are stepping into our truth. We are stepping into our light. We are stepping into our happiness. So understand, my dear, if there are things in your life right now that you're not happy about, if there are things bothering you right now, look within you, look within your heart and try to understand what situation in your past you have not forgiven. Which person is still having effect in your heart right now in such a powerful way that things in your life, things around you are making you unhappy. Forgiving is so deeply transformative, like I told you. It's so important. It's so... Uh, it brings you into alignment. It brings you into divine love. It brings you into the being that you are, the light, the love that you are. So remember to forgive. Remember to let go. It's so important. Right now, think about your past. Think about people in your life. Think about situations. Breathe and, and forgive. Start working with this forgiveness. Start working in the healing within your heart to let go, to heal your heart, to move on with your life in your own alignment, in your own path. Within your light, you don't need the darkness from other people. You have your own beautiful heart and your own beautiful light to shine. Okay, my dear, wonderful, such a beautiful card. Like I told you, I can be talking about forgiveness for a long time. It's so, so meaningful. It's so beautiful when, when people start to forgive. It's like the way that the angels show me, it's like, let me just stop for a while before I move on. When some heart, when someone forgives in the planet, if you look the planet as an entire um, consciousness, when someone forgives, deeply, when they literally and they, they choose to forgive, you start seeing sparkles of light around the globe. Their hearts open. Your heart can open, can be shining light, can be these beams of light in the planet. And this is what happens when the forgiveness happens, when that, when that stone, when that blockage is released from your heart the light comes out and you shine your inner light. 
Okay, anyways, let's move on. Like I told you, we can be talking about this for the whole for the whole day. Let's move on for the weekend now. And let's see what our angels here, the angels are asking us. And the card is surrender and release. Again, my dear. Because of all this energy, like I told you, of the equinox and all the changes of the seasons, some places we're going to the to fall to autumn, some places we're going to spring. Beautiful colors, right? In both seasons, there are so many beautiful colors. And this is the beauty of this time, of this week. The changes, the shifts of energy, the balancing. And for things to come into balance in your life, for things to come into alignment, for yourself to come into alignment, for the energies of the dark and the light to be aligned, we need to surrender and release. We need to let go, just like the forgiveness card. So things might be coming to surface, memories and situations and people, even struggles that you thought you were not uh, caring about it anymore but suddenly comes to surface please embrace this my dear this means you're healing this means the energy is coming through and it's taking this darkness it's taking these blockages outside of you so remember how important it is to surrender to open your arms to open your heart to understand that the prayers are being heard by surrendering, by trusting, and by releasing, by letting go, by forgiving. It's so beautiful the way the cards are connected. So they want you to understand how important it is for you to choose yourself, to choose to let go, to choose to move on, to release. You don't need to be taking with you and dragging with you the past. Let the past in the past, let go. Your life is now, your life is your future. This is what you should be focusing on. On the changes, on the beautiful changes that can happen to you. On the beautiful opportunities that can come to your life as long as you are allowing yourself to get there. As long as you're surrendering to the love of the divine, to the love of your angels. How much they guide you, how much they protect you, how much they love you so deeply so purely, in, in, an, in an unconditional way. So surrender to their love, surrender your life, surrender your words, surrender your actions to your angels. And you will see that they can help, you will see your life will start to transform because you are releasing, you are choosing to let go of the things that no longer serve you. And then you are stepping into the new, you're stepping into a fresh energy, into the light into the beautiful being that you are. You're choosing yourself. Remember, this is the main uh, energy for this week. How important it is for you to choose yourself through forgiveness, through releasing, through surrendering to your own prayers, to your angels. Okay, my dear, so beautiful. I love the energy of this week. I didn't, I actually did not <laughs> introduce myself in the beginning of the video. Just to let you know if, you're, if it's your first time in my channel. My name is Maria, by the way, you can see by the name of my channel. <laughs> but thank you for joining me. Uh, if you want to receive daily guidance from the angels, you can always go to my Instagram and my Facebook. The angelic month for, for October is open. Remember, it's going to close in a few days. If you want to join me for your own deeper diving within yourself, with your angels, with full support from them, through their love in a weekly basis, in a weekly work for yourself. If you choose yourself, remember to join the Angelic Month. In October, I'm giving one extra week for free, one extra week of guidance and meditation for yourself, for free. So join me in the Angelic Month. It's gonna be such a pleasure to work with you. You will see how different you will feel, how, he how the healing will start to happen within you when you choose yourself, when you open your heart for your angels to come forward and be working very closely with you. It's going to be a pleasure to connect you with your angels. Okay, my dear, I wish you a wonderful and a blessed week in the company of your angels, in your own company, in your own light, in alignment with your divine energy. 
take good care of yourself i'll talk to you soon thank you for joining remember to subscribe also okay click in the subscribe and in the bell right next to it so you get notifications when a new video comes forward okay my dear have a beautiful week and i'll talk to you soon namaste